What's up everyone and welcome to one of your first EDC tips. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Keith. I have been to five EDCs and I'm talk about what I've learned in the past five years to make sure the next EDC is better than my last EDC. So today I'm gonna talk about the beloved EDC lineup. Now, past lineups have been great. I have not seen one lineup where I thought, hmm, this one might not be that good or anything. And from my past experience, I have realized that the lineup does not really matter. It really doesn't. If you're waiting to get your ticket because you're thinking, I gotta see that lineup first, just please go online, buy the ticket. Your friends are waiting for you. They wanna be excited when you get the ticket, so don't wait for the lineup. It's gonna be fine. If you look back at the lineups, actually no, you don't have to look back. I'll look back for you. Check out these lineups. Now yeah, look at all those names. Above and Beyond, Elenium, Zed's Dead, Boombox Cartel. If Dead Mouse is on the lineup this year, Rez has been there, Ghastly, Porter Robinson, so you get where I'm going with this. The lineup really doesn't matter because it's always gonna be good. If you really think that there's a certain year that the lineup was not that good, I don't know what to tell you because I don't think that's possible. If you enjoy EDM and you're going for a good time, it's really hard to go to EDC and think that lineup was terrible and that's why I'm not gonna go anymore. Probably you had some weird people around you you probably were like chasing someone that didn't want to like dance with you and you let that ruin your mood. I've been there before, it's terrible. But yeah, there's also a lineup going around the groups. It looks like everyone understands it's not real for the most part, but for some people, not sure if their sarcasm is just really good, but it seems like they really think this lineup is real. The one thing that gave it away is that they spelled Odessa wrong. Insomniac is really good with releasing lineups with no typos. I don't think I've seen one yet. So that lineup could be real, I could be wrong, but 99% of me says it's not real. So yeah, my tip really is to not worry about the lineup. It's not gonna matter. It won't ruin your festival experience if you're not enjoying all the names you're seeing. Some of the best sets I've seen were people I didn't plan on going to. I was at Alesso and I was at Alesso in 2016, I wasn't really feeling it. And the two other people I was with that day, we went to GTA instead. Felt like we were in a jungle, didn't plan on seeing GTA, and I was like, this is one of the best sets today, this is so fun. I was laying down in Cosmic Meadows, grass, and it was great. But yeah, one more time, do not worry about the lineup. It's gonna be great no matter what. What you should worry about is those set times. But yeah, if you know people that don't wanna get their ticket just because the lineup isn't out yet, share this video, be like, hey, that stranger saying yeah, you should go, I'm saying you should go, Natalia said you should go, Susan said you should go, even Jared said you should go. Obviously, if there's financial things going on, I'm not urging you to spend your last dollars on EDC, but if you're just on the fence, remember you're only young once. Even though you could be going to these things until you're 45, 50, 85, 90. But even if you're not young and you think you're kind of old, there's no kind of old over at EDC. Like really no one cares but you if you're thinking, am I too old for this now? Am I too? No, you're not, okay? So who cares about the lineup? Who cares what age you are? Look at those lasers or fireworks. You want to be here. Don't worry about the lineup. Share this video. I'm Keith, I'd love to see you at EDC, and I'd love to see that you got your ticket. Have a great day.